So Korihor comes along, and we are going to play a little game with Korihor. We're going to play dominoes. And by the way, for any of you who have ever spent any time setting up dominoes and then knocking them down, you understand the reality that it takes a lot longer to establish and to set up dominoes than it does to knock them down. So it is with faith. You can spend a, a lifetime building up faith, and if you, if you choose uh, to do things that, that are inappropriate or unwise, you can knock down years of building efforts in a very short period of time when it comes to faith and testimony and conversion. So Korihor comes along, and these prophets and these people have been spending this time trying to establish some dominoes of faith, and he's going to start knocking them down. Now watch closely at what the first domino is that Korihor attacks. Look at verse 12. This Antichrist, whose name was Korihor, and the law could have no hold upon him, began to preach unto the people that there should be no Christ. Notice that the first domino he's going to attack is there will be no Christ. Now, if you knock over that domino, it's going to knock down a whole series of dominoes downstream. If there's really no Christ, look what follows. Verse 13, O ye that are bound down under a foolish and a vain hope. That's his way of saying there is no such thing as true hope. You have no hope, and the hope that you think you have, it's foolish and it's vain. It's, it's a total waste of your time. There is no hope. Look at verse 13's conclusion. Why do you look for a Christ, for no man can know of anything which is to come? There is no such thing as prophecy. You can't know what's coming in the future. By the way, you'll notice that with uh, Sherem did this as well back in uh, Jacob chapter 7, they say no man can know anything which is to come in the future, and then they turn right around and say, now let me tell you what isn't going to be in the future. There is not going to be a Christ anywhere in the future. The, the contradiction, the logical fallacy there is quite remarkable, but sometimes we miss that. The fact that uh, they're telling you you can't know the future, but then they're telling you the future. There is no Christ in the future for him. Look at verse 14. Behold, these things which ye call prophecies, which ye say are handed down by the holy prophets, behold, they are the foolish traditions of your fathers. There's no such thing as past wisdom to be gained from the prophets in the past. Anything that they pass down that they claim to be pro it's all foolishness. It's just a tradition of your fathers. There is nothing to be gained from the past. Hmm, that's interesting. Here we stand, okay, here we stand in the present, and what does Korihor in essence do? I learned this from, from a dear friend and, a, and an amazing mentor, Brother Rex Reeve. He showed this to me, that Korihor, or the devil, is doing everything he can to cut us completely off from the past and to blind us and cut us off from the future, leaving us with me here now. When Satan can, can help us or, or cause us to be cut off from the past and the future, the ability that he has to tempt us in such a way that we fall, it, it, the, the odds go through the roof, and that's exactly what's happening here.